It is the women's 400 metres T54 final. The big question, can anybody touch Tatiana McFadden of the United States in lane five? Jay Jones of Great Britain, just a youngster with a real future ahead of her. Qualified in the time, one minute point eight. One of two Americans in this field, Amberlyn Weber, 101, but she does, and that is a season's best for her. The very impressive Zhang of China, a gold medalist in the 4x400 relay. Season's best of 58.04. Manuel Shea of Switzerland. She's demonstrated she's very strong through the first 300. The very classy, the very impressive. And what a qualifying time that is. 55.32, Tatiana McFadden. The legend from Canada, Dan Roy of Canada. A qualifying time of 57.95. Dong of China. Rounding out the field in lane eight is the very talented Wallengren of Sweden. Qualifying time of 59.98. She has gone quicker in the last 12 months. Was the season's best of 58.18. Just looking at that, Petty Clerk is the world record holder of 51.91. That game's record at 53.40. McFadden in lane five has already won gold at these championships in the 200, 800 and 1500 metres. Can she add another gold to that tally? That would be quite remarkable as we are underway. No, I think that might just have been a misfire. Or it would have been the most unorthodox start we've seen at these IPC Athletics World Championships. And I think the Chinese girl particularly got a little bit of a fright there and thought, hang on a minute, how did I possibly miss that? Dong in lane seven there, you can see the humour in it, a wee smile on her face. The young Brit in lane one, Jones, is the youngest competitor at these championships at just 15 years of age, so great experience for her. Wallengren of Sweden. She will start in the outside lane. Not ideal in terms of starting there. Yeah, the outside lane, you have uh, no idea what the athletes on the inside of you are doing. In a 400 metres, the first 200, very crucial in terms of the pace that you set out at. You don't want to go too fast and blow up in the last home straight, but at the same time, don't want to leave too much left in the tank. here for these athletes it's not exactly warm they would have timed their warm-up for an exact start and one thing they would have done too they'd look at the tire pressure in these chairs normally sit somewhere around about 140 psi and in wet conditions you probably just want to deflate them slightly you get a slightly better feel of the track and they make sure the tires have been well and truly worn in and we are underway cleanly this time. All the action should come from Tatiana McFadden in lane five. But I'm sure that Diane Roy of Canada in six will have something to say about it. Jay Jones here of Great Britain just struggling out of the blocks there to get this chair up to full speed. It's a very impressive start too from the two Chinese athletes, Dong and Zhang. McFadden's already made up the stagger on the other athletes. You can just see her cadence is a lot higher than the others. This is very much shaping up to be a North American battle by the looks of it. But the very impressive Tatiana McFadden of the United States has a commanding lead coming into this bend. She will come around and then into the home strike. Has she gone out too quickly? Will this be her fourth gold medal? Well, look back, look out, ladies and gentlemen. The golden girl of the track is on her way. The superstar that is Tatiana McFadden coming down to win an impressive, emphatic fashion.
fashion her fifth, fourth gold medal. Diane Roy will take the silver, and it will be Shea of Switzerland who will win the bronze medal. How good is this woman?